Well, everybody, it's nice to see you again. And today, I would like to share uh, about the critical reading. So, what is critical reading like that? As we know, the critical reading is uh, reading critically does not uh, was that necessarily means being critical of what you read. But reading and uh, thinking critically don't mean being critical about some idea. And then about the argument or a piece of writing claiming that is somehow faulty or flawed. Uh, it depends on the critical reading means engaging in what you read by asking yourself questions such as maybe uh, what is the author trying uh, to say and then uh, or what is the main argument being presented. Critical readings involve uh, presenting a reason and argument that evaluates and analyzes what have you read. And being critical, therefore, in an academic sense, uh, means advancing your understanding and not dismissing and the progressing of learning. Then, uh, to read uh, critically, uh, to exercise your judgment about what you are reading, uh, that is not taking anything you read at the face value. When the reading academic material, you will be faced with the author's uh, interpretation and opinion. There are some different authors will naturally have different slants. You should always examine what you are reading critically and look for limitation, omission, inconsistencies, and oversight or argument against what you are reading. In academic circles, which are uh, students, uh, you will be expected to understand different viewpoints and make your own judgment based on what you have read. Critical reading goes farther than just being satisfied with what a text says. It also involves reflecting on the words that it describes and analyzing what the text actually means in the context of your studies. And then, as a critical reader, you should reflect on the first means, what is the text say? After critically, reading a piece, you should be able to take notes, paraphrasing in your own words the, what is that, uh, the key points. And then the second, what the describes you should be confident that you have understood the text uh, sufficient uh, to be able to use our, our examples and compare and construct uh, with other writing of the subject in hand. And then the third interpretation of the text. This means that you should be able to fully analyze uh, the text that state a meaning for the text as full. And then the conclusion means uh, critical reading, being able to reflect on what a text says, what is described and what it means uh, by scratchizing to the style and structure of the writing the language used as well as content. And then, uh, critical thinking is an extension of the critical reading. It means that thinking critically in the academic sense in force being open-minded, using judgment and discipline to the process of your learning about without letting your personal views uh, or opinion districts from the argument, and that the critical uh, thinking involves being rational and aware of your own feelings on the subject, being able to uh, reorganize 
uh, your thoughts, uh, priority, which one is the good knowledge and understanding to accommodate new ideas or viewpoints. And then uh, critical reading and critical thinking are therefore the very foundation of the true learning in personal development. So uh, for developing a reading strategy here, you will in formal learning situation be required to read and critically think about a lot of information from different sources. It is important therefore that you not only learn to read critically but also efficiently. The first step uh, to efficient reading is to become selective. Yes, if you cannot read all the books on the recommended reading list, you need to find a way of selecting the best text for you. At the start it, uh, you need to know what uh, you are looking for. So you can uh, then examine the contents, uh, pages, and or index uh, some book of journal to establish uh, whether and chapter or article is worth parsing further. And then once you have selected suitable page, the next step is to split read. Split reading is also often uh, referred to as scheme, reading or scheme. Once you have identified a relevant piece of text, like a chapter in a book, uh, you should scan in the first few sentences of each paragraph to gain an overall impression of subject areas it covers. And then scan reading essentially means that you know what uh, you are looking for uh, you identify the chapter or a section most relevant to you and ignore the rest. And then uh, when you are spread at it, you are not aiming uh, to gain a full understanding of the equipment uh, or topic raised in the text. It is simply a way determining uh, what the text is about. When you find the relevant or interesting section, you will need uh, to slow maybe uh, on your reading speed uh, dramatically and then allowing you to gain a more in-depth understanding on the human race. Even when you are slow your reading, down it may well be necessary to read passages several times to gain a full understanding. So uh, here the conclusion about the critical reading and I hope to all of you can comprehend about the, our experience based on the article that I read. So after that if there is a problem or you don't understand which is my explanation uh, you may write down some question, then we can solve this problem by discussing. Thank you very much and once for you.